Hey, what's up guys? I'm here with my friend at StyleCon. This is Tanner of Masculine Style. Thanks for taking a minute yeah. to, to chat with me. Yeah, and thanks for having me on. Yeah, and we were talking a little bit, you know, obviously you guys, so when we're training, uh, and training for quite a while, your body's gonna change shape and, and physique, and you're gonna you know, put muscle mass on, and that's the whole point, but you know, that actually kind of has an impact, and I've noticed of how people perceive you. And it's not always, you know, we think like, oh, okay, well, you know, girls are gonna like that I'm in shape and that'll draw them more to me or, or something to that extent. And, and in some cases, maybe there's truth to it, but a lot of times too, it comes with an image that people assume, oh, he's just a dumb meathead or she's, you know, he doesn't know anything. So what, we're, what was interesting when you were talking to me about um, these different, well, first of all, your masculine style is all about explaining how men can kind of control or at least have an active part in the image that they communicate to others. Right, because right? um, it should be just as deliberate as your approach to your time in the gym. Mm -hmm. Like if you go in and you're just kind of half-heartedly doing something, you may be working with a program, you may be following a semblance of a diet, and you get kind of maybe results. Right. And your style's the same way. If you don't have that deliberate, goal-focused attitude with what you want your clothing to do, then you don't get the results that you want from it. I like, yeah, uh, that's a great analogy. If you, you know, don't go in with a plan and you're just kind of like, if you, you guys know, if we just go to the gym, which is the opposite of what a Spartan Rises teaches you, if you just go to the gym and throw weights around, yep. you're not gonna, yeah, maybe you feel okay because you did something, but you're gonna have nothing to show for it. Right. So it's the same thing with your, with your image. If you don't think about how you wanna, you portray yourself to others, then it's gonna, that's gonna show as well. So what was, um, there's kind of like a model that Masculine Style uses to, to get guys thinking about how do they want to yep. control that. So what I do is I break it down into three different style archetypes. Mm -hmm. I think that for the majority of men, we fall into some percentage of these three. Um, and I break it down as uh, rugged, refined, and rakish. And then and Spartan. That's yeah, and Spartan, right? That's the fourth one. Spartan's very rugged, so we'll just you know, rename okay. that even though there I don't get the alliteration anymore. Right, so. right. But really what it comes down to is it's this idea of how men we we impact the world. The rugged guy has more of a physical impact on the world. He may be kind of rough and tumble a little bit more. In the physical realm, the refined man focuses on his ability to impact people through his status or through his financial means. And the rakish guy is all about defying convention and having social power by breaking social conventions. Okay. And I think most of us have some element of all three of those. Right, right. But the way that we can use our style and our clothing is to figure out how we fall within those percentages, what the different aesthetics of those archetypes are, mm -hmm. and then blending them together so that it better communicates who we are as men. I mean, you and I are wearing very different clothing right now. Right. You're much more embodying the rugged archetype. Mine's a little bit more of a mix between refined and rakish. Right. And that's very consistent and congruent with who you are as a man versus who I am as a man. Right. And so our clothing is already projecting that as opposed to just having to be a gym bro or a fashion guy or something right. that you're just saying I like the clothing, but it's not necessarily consistent with how you perceive yourself. Right, and no. and I like too um, that all kind of aligns itself with basically being authentic. You know, so you've got the three different archetypes, and obviously everyone has. We take a little bit from each, mm -hmm. and and maybe one day you're feeling a little more on the rugged side, another a little more on the refined, or depending on the event or whatever that you're going to, and so you kind of dress to match that. But ultimately, it will really shine through because you are dressing to match you know, yourself and your personality, and so it just amplifies that versus muting it Absolutely. if you don't pay any attention. Absolutely. Awesome, well that's great insight, man. I Thank appreciate you. you sharing that, and guys, Tanner's got tons and tons of information on his, on his blog, MasculineStyle.com, so you can check that out, find all kinds of tips and helpful and more, more info on the archetypes, but thanks again for taking time out to thanks chat, and it's been great, great seeing you, man. Thanks, Ryan. All right, take care.